Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is titled, What Does Billie Eilish Winning a Grammy Teach Us? As you know, this channel is not just about guitar playing, it's also about creativity and composing because that's what I spend a lot of time doing. I also spend a lot of time teaching. And seeing the news this week, the news being that Billie Eilish has won a whole host of uh, Grammys. Who is she? Uh, check her out. Uh, there's some links below if you're not certain. She may or may not be your musical taste. That doesn't really matter. But her and her brother Phineas have put together a, a Grammy award winning record. And there are some really important lessons to be learnt. I don't want to get into the whole thing that seems to be going on on the video about her and privilege. There are some fundamental other issues that I think are really important things that we can learn from this and take away from it. It's not the first time that musicians have been privileged or <laughs> come from a certain class or whatever. You know, take for example Genesis. Take for example members of Pink Floyd. You know, if you want, to want privilege, look at the schools that members of Genesis went to, for example. So take all that aside. What it boils down to and what we can learn from her is most of that album was produced using Logic, just a DAW, using stock plugins, stock instruments, and a lot of time and a lot of effort. And also it was recorded in their bedroom. I found that really, really inspiring because if you've been following that my channel for a while, you know that I am minimizing all the stuff that I have. I am concentrating on workflow. And this was another kick up the backside to go, you know what, yeah, you can do it with the things that you already have. Because what matters is not the technology. What matters is not the gear. It is the intent and the creative inspiration and the creative ideas. And again, I said, this may not be music for you, but this applies to whatever genre of music you are doing. I spend a lot of my time telling my students, because they're always asking me, what's the best gear? What's the best DAW? What DAW should I get? What plugins should I get? What's quality? What's best? best is the tool that you have. The best is learning to use that tool. Investing money and time in learning the tools that you have at your disposal. Not worrying about the next better plug-in, piece of gear, guitar pedal, guitar. Use what you have. If you want to write music and want to be a musician and want to compose and want to be creative, then create. Don't worry about this stuff. And that is what Billie Eilish teaches us. Use the stuff that you have at your disposal. Use it and learn how to use it well and you will get much further than constantly, constantly buying new gear, looking at new gear, wasting time at new gear. And I am actually telling myself this. I am guilty of this. And as you've probably seen, like I say, on other videos that I've done, you know, I am getting rid of that. I'm concentrating on workflow. I want to produce content. That's where my happiness lies, not with gear. So that is the message for this video. Lover, hater, don't care, not on your radar, whatever it is about her, look at her woke flow. Look at what her and her brother, and I guess he does a lot of the production, so I'm not forgetting about Phineas, he's in there as well. But as a team, look at the tools that they're using to express their creative vision. The vision comes first. People really seem to like the vision. Again, follow the previous statement. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Look at the workflow, look at the ideas. There are tons of articles, there are tons of YouTube videos uh, I've seen detailing of them talking about it. There's a great sound on sound interview with Phineas talking about the process. And again, he details how he used Logic and the stock plugins within Logic. So if you don't have Logic, it doesn't matter. Insert your DAW name there. Insert the keyboard that you have. Insert the guitar pedal. Whatever it is you have, use it. Learn to use it to the point where you break it. And I don't mean break it physically, but push it to its limits. Have you taken the tools that you have and pushed them to the limits? Have you bought an, a distortion pedal and tried it about a little bit and then got fed up with it and gone and bought another one. Yes, we all have. But have you actually pushed that? Have you tried it at its extremes? Experiment, find your voice. And as you can probably hear, I'm really, really passionate about this because I'm constantly telling my students this. Find your own voice and don't worry about the equipment. That is what Billie Eilish winning a Grammy teaches us. Create good content that people like. Create, create, create. Just keep creating. Keep playing that guitar. Keep exploring. Keep discovering. If you're into gear and you're just buying this for gear, then and that's what makes you happy, cool. 
go with it. But if you are trying to forge a career, if you're trying to be a composer, musician, songwriter, guitarist, then you've got to push the envelope. Hope you found that useful. Love to hear your comments. I'm sure there's going to be quite a lot on this. I've been Brucey. I will catch you later. Take care, my friends.